Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. So they saying Gunna dropped a new song. Gunna returns. Listen, DJ Academics. Gunna returns with a new song and goes crazy on Lil Dirk, Lil Baby, QCP, and others. Let me go out and see. Check it out now. Oh, ho, ho, Lee. Now, shout out to my boy Gunna, man. Gunna dropped a new track telling it all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now, he's speaking on everything, and he's calling people out as well. Okay, now, the track is called Bread and Butter, and pretty much he called out a few names in particular. The biggest one was Little Baby. Now, if you guys don't know, Little Baby unfollowed Gunna after rumors came out that he cooperated when he took an Alfred plea and he got out of. Well, as he should. As he should. Jail and left Thug and the rest of the YSL dudes there. Okay? Pretty much everybody been wondering what the Atlanta rappers think about stuff. What does Thug think about stuff? And we could tell, we all know that Lil Baby and Gunna rocked heavy with Thug, even though uh, Baby wasn't YSL. So when Baby unfollowed him, that was a huge blow to obviously Gunna's reputation. Not only that, Gunna and Lil Baby did mad records together. And they were almost seen as a duo at one point. A lot of people determined them as... That's true, too. Nah, that's true, too. They was doing, like, shit like, uh... You can get the biggest bag of the hell you want it. Want that this song? I know that's a little baby drunk. Um, now they had a lot of shit coming up. Like, Jip Too Hard. Going on his way. Right? One, one gun on that song, too? If I'm not mistaken, I was, maybe that's just baby's like hit singles, like. But nah, they did a lot of shit together. I remember that for sure. But I definitely remember. Baby always said, "Bro, Thug is the one that kept Sam, get in the studio. You need to do this." He even said that in his documentary. He even said that in his documentary. He said, "Bro, I pay you, bro, to get off the block." I will pay you. I will literally, what you're making right now, I will pay you to just come to the studio and record. So if Lil Baby feels some certain type of way, his loyalty wasn't to Gunna. From our understanding, from what been publicized, Baby always been around. Thug knew Baby. Like, they was linked They was linked together. They knew each other. Gunna and Thug knew each other off some rap shit. Um, I mean... Mm -hmm. The new uh, Young Thug and Rich Homie Quan. okay? Now, on this track, he addressed Lil Baby, and he basically called him a hypocrite. Now, I'm going to read some of these lyrics... And uh, then I'll get to some lyrics about what he said he did in court, which is hilarious. Because I don't know if he's going the gangster rat like uh, um, option, like how Six Nine went, because he kind of admits to cooperate, but he's gangster rat. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, that ain't never gonna fly. Rat ain't never gonna fly. It's like once you rat, bro, your career is over with. I don't care. It could be on some. I was a kid, like, once you, once it get put in the air that you a rat, bruh, it's over with. Like, ain't nothing you can do about it. Like, it ain't nothing you can do to, like, break that wall. Once a person perceives that you a rat, bruh, it's nothing that you can do. It's over with. Like, it's literally over with. Even if you make, like, Gunna, Gunna is probably, like, the best overall artist that, Got a rap label to his name. Far as you know, like um, six nine, Pop Hunter, uh, Boston Richie, and whoever else write it. But I'm saying like those are the, like the most popular artists that got labeled. Oh, uh, what's the other bird name? Look like Chucky. Short guy, super super short. Like uh, he like Ch the Chucky doll. I forgot his name. Um, but him like, Gunner is the pop the most popular artist out of all of them. 
and he makes the best music out of all of them. I don't think like even with the best music that he can come out with, because people fuck with Thug. Like people fuck with Thug, so they feel like Thug in a lose lose situation. It's hard to champion somebody that's in a lose lose situation, and you get to live this whole whatever life you're gonna live. It's gonna be it's kind of hard to bounce back from that. Like he said, he got tricked. We'll get into it anyway. Let's get at the lines where he trick. actually talked about little baby. He said, "Listen." Every nigga speaking on my name could have some real problems. We are not the same. Ain't in my lane. I got my own column. Peeping shit, I'm seeing niggas fall back. You bitch niggas got me as a topic of the chat. You switched on me when you know you in business with a rat. Now let me pause. You switched on me knowing you in the business with a rat? Okay. So this right here is what he talking about, Lord Baby and QCP. Was it there? Uh, that's the line that's aimed at Lil Baby. And he's talking about QCP. Now P is the CEO of QC. Actually, he's a so um uh QC, but he still operates it and you know partially owns it. And essentially, he's saying, gonna say, yo. How you gonna switch on me because of rumors of me telling? But you're in business. You're signed to somebody who, quote unquote, Atlanta streets. Nah, that's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, nah, that's crazy. And even 1090 Jake put out some paperwork recently. They're saying that P cooperated, okay? Now, the next line is also at Baby. He says, and the boy that's like your brother, Ain't nobody speak on that. So basically, he's saying, your your guy. Huh? The boy is like your brother, and ain't nobody speak on that. What the fuck is that? What are you talking about? What? I who you be jacking as your brother? He cooperated too, but nobody's speaking on that. Now, who is he talking about? From what I found in terms of research, apparently he's speaking on a guy named G Five. Okay, and there was like some video that came out where some guy actually came out and said, "Yo." G5 told on me. And apparently, again, all this is known in Atlanta. It is news to us, but like in the Atlanta streets, everybody know what he's talking about, okay? Are you interested in the specific? Nah, that's crazy. Nah, that's crazy, bro. You know, time go by. Nigga changed their name, so shit, I'm down the road, I'm down there bit kicking it. They talking about Hilda's out the city and shit. I'm like, they hear who? They talking about goddamn bro got the Hilda, whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm like, who? They show me the nigga. I say, what? That the nigga that told on me? Nigga like, hell no. You feel me? I'm like, well, yeah, that's the nigga that told on me. They say he named G5 now. He with little baby. I'm like, hell. So he's saying, you're signed to a guy who cooperated. You also are friends with a guy who cooperated. And nobody's speaking on that. Then he says in the next line, the city see it clearly if I had to state a fact. You still fuck with a nigga that done got your partner whacked. Now, that is a heavy line. And this is a line I'm going to say there is no comeback from how Gunna stepped out on this track. Arguably, you could say there was no comeback after, you know, baby starts separating himself from Gunna. But this line. Yo, oh my God. Okay, before he break it down. Marlo, it's Marlo right here. 21 Savage, Lil Homie. I, I'm not snitching. It's, he said it in the song. 21 Savage, a little homie. Um, what's the song? Dawson or some shit like that? Uh, the biggest op, the biggest op, is, what'd he say? I dropped the biggest op, whatever the fuck that, I forgot the bar, that's my song though. That, that, joke, that joke with Young Nudie, that's my song. 
So what he said about that is he said you still fuck with twenty one, and they got young. That's crazy. Nah, that hey. Ho ho gutter ho gutter. Hey gutter job popping it. Hey, gunner job popping it, bruh. If you know, you know, gunner job popping it right now. Hey no. And I think hits very deep and is connected to a lot of street stuff. Now. Who is he talk to, talking about? Uh, I think the, the, the partner that he's talking about that got whacked, I think he's talking about Lil Marlo, unfortunately. So Lil Marlo was a guy that was signed to Lil Baby, and basically he got killed on a highway in Atlanta. He had a lot of other street stuff going on, and I don't want to drop names here, but the person who they claim or the people who they claim was associated with getting Lil Marlo killed Apparently, Lil Baby is cool as hell with them, okay? They're BFFs, okay? So that's another interesting thing, which, by the way, I'll say this. Lil Marlo got killed a while ago. I'm wondering why Gunna didn't say nothing back then, and he's only saying stuff about it now. I get addressing the cooperation part of it, but now you're basically just calling Lil Baby a fake-ass dude who's hanging with people who killed his mans. By the way, if you guys still don't know who Marlo is, Marlo is a guy who's mentioned on, on the whole uh, freestyle, the infamous freestyle song by Lil Baby when he's like, yo, Marlo, my dog, that's for sure. We won't fall out of our shit, especially not by no bitch, okay? So apparently they were mad cool, but now Gunna is almost saying that Lil Baby is hanging with the dudes or is cool as hell with the dudes that supposedly was responsible for his death. That's crazy, Okay. Then, nah, he has crazy. some more bars, but then he's going to start getting that little Dirk. Now, if you guys don't know, little Dirk actually dropped a snippet when he says, yo, uh, 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 what happened to Virgil, he probably going to tell. And that was a clever playoff words because he had a song with Gunna called What Happened to Virgil. He basically put it in this new bar and used Gunna's name and says, what happened to Virgil, he probably going to tell. So, again, he's now going to address little Dirk. That's when you hear he say the lines, had these niggas talking, only knew him cause a slap. You rap boys need more streams. Heard he put my name on wax. You wouldn't even believe I ain't had to watch my back. It's niggas really talking how you think we done got snatched, okay? So that's basically a gunner job popping it. I ain't listening to the song. Well, I'm gonna listen to the song. I'm gonna listen to the song. I'm gonna try to react to it and hopefully it don't get copywritten or I mean copywritten to it's blocked. Cause you know that's when a lot of videos I be I be doing videos, bro. Them don't be getting copywritten to they blocked. I'm like, come on, bro. But he just popping it on this song, like he just talking his shit. But it's a lot of shit that he had built up, so it's been it's been damn near a year. Of him holding on to shit. So I can see he let this shit all out. Gunner is just saying, yo, man, I ain't the one who cooperated. It's other people who's really snitching. That's why we got caught up. And he basically gives a uh, little Dirk a bar by saying, yo, you must need more streams if you're putting my name on wax, okay? Anyway, he did address the whole situation about... Realistically, is Gunner... Even even at the time that Gunna was out and his name was clear, Gunna wasn't a bigger artist than Lord Dirt. He wasn't a bigger artist than Lord Dirt. Like even when Gunna had a clear name, he wasn't a bigger artist. He wasn't the biggest artist, a bigger artist than Lord Dirt. Mm hmm. About what he did in court. All right, check this out. Because I ain't gonna lie to you, Gunna did some mental gymnastics in these lyrics. Check this out. He says, and this is verse two, fuck I pay these lawyers all those mills for, just so I won't have to say a word to dodge a railroad. Niggas find it hard to understand though. Dog can't put me down, I've been locked down, I don't know which way to go. Never gave no statement or agreed to take no stand on him. Or whatever you niggas on, then trust me, I'm gonna stand on it. Lawyers and the DA did some sneaky shit. I fell for it. All my P's and Q's because this time I'll be prepared for it. 
supposed to shine these niggas throwing shade though. I can get him hit, but I'm a chill and see how it go. All right. Did he just say the DA set him up and he fell for it? I don't think that's how that go, bro. I don't think you can fall for nothing that you you don't open your mouth to, bro. Now, that's him basically saying that the the prosecutor or the DA tricked him, but he also said lawyers too. So I don't know if he's talking about his lawyers, but I guess he's saying he, maybe he's unhappy with his lawyer because he's saying, why the hell did he pay all the millions to his lawyers if they were going to trick him into doing something that essentially people were going to see as snitching, okay? Now, here's my thing. Are you They doing that because they trying to get you out. By any means, hey, we don't give a fuck if you if we ruin your reputation. We trying to get these millions. You been locked up. Your money gonna dry up eventually. That's how they look at it. Saying they tricked you into snitching or they tricked you into looking like you snitch because it seems unclear what he's saying. Clearly, he's saying he ain't want to do it, right? Clearly, he's saying he's uncomfortable with the label of being a cooperator, a truth teller. But he's blaming it on his lawyers. <laughs> now, he also uh, addressed it uh, early on on another line when he said, hey, you know, these are the first lines of the song, too. Never fuck the nigga. Pause, by the way. Always stay solid. Kept it real with nigga. fuck the nigga pause by the way always stay solid kept it real with niggas never lied and always stayed honest love my bro so much i never change on him wanna go and do the work and bring you the damn profits i guess he's talking about thug right because he signs a thug he says hustle on my own i always didn't know how to sell product they ain't never gave me shit i grinded so long came from the damn bottom every nigga speaking on my name could have some real problems so basically he's saying that yo he kind of like, he kind of held it down, but I don't know if he held it down if he said he got tricked. Gunner's sending us mixed messages here. One thing is for sure, two things are certain. Gunner is saying to people that he might have to put the hands of God on somebody. He might have to slap somebody. He's also talking real gangster. He say he might put a hit on a nigga, okay? He's talking about, yo, if people want a problem, they could get it. He'll stand on anything. Gunner is in his 6 9 bag. Nah, Gunner just got pride issues. That's what it is. It's his pride and ego in a way, bro. You know any time that you're going to take a plea, um, especially when you're at that level of popularity, like stardom, fame, shit like that, bro. Just look at 6 9 bro. You're not going to have, you're not going to be able to live a regular life. I'm sorry to tell you, that's the life that you signed up for, being an artist. You gonna have to stand on what you done, um, and that's just his pride. His pride is saying, "Bro, like y'all niggas not gonna keep playing with me. I'm willing to crash out and really do some time behind this shit, cause that's his pride." Mm -hmm. Right now, okay, six nine post jail is the toughest nigga on earth, okay, because again. Sometimes the only way to beat these allegations is show niggas that you're not a bitch, okay? Unfortunately. And Gunna, I've never heard Gunna talk. This is crazy. Gunna's talking super tough, and we'll see, man. Anyway, do I like the song? I think the song's kind of cool. I don't think it's meant to be a hit song. It's meant to be a clear in the air song. It's kind of interesting because I think Gunna's been on ice for a long time. The YSL trial is going to take forever. Obviously, he can't fully speak on certain things, or I would hope he wouldn't until the whole trial is done because again if you claim you do care about young thug his life is hanging in the balance but it makes this whole song kind of even more spook all right but you ain't talking about nothing bro what y'all think bro y'all heard this song let me know i'm about to listen to it and try to react to it for y'all see y'all in the next video though peace